Over here, you have cousin Bunty who graduated school making $100,000 a year. And over here, you have sister Paramjit who graduated school making $50,000 a year. By the way, in my native language Punjabi, you call a mustache a much and a braid a gut. Now, based off of this information, if both of these people started investing 15% of their income when they started working because they were both financially savvy enough to start doing that. That means cousin Bunty started investing $15,000 a year as soon as he graduated school and sister Paramjit started investing $7,500 a year as soon as she graduated school. Based off this information, you would think that Cousin Bunty is going to end up richer and wealthier because for one, he's making more money. And number two, he had the financial savviness to start investing at the same time as her. And he's also investing more money than her. But you've also been following my videos long enough to know that this is a trick question. See, the difference between Cousin Bunty and Paramjit is that Cousin Bunty just gave his money to a money manager and he was able to get a 7% average rate of return on his money after all fees. Not bad, but Paramjit decided to do something a little bit different. She decided to go out and learn about investing. She wanted to manage her money a little bit better and she was able to get a 10% annual return on her money, even though she's investing less money, but she was a little bit more involved on the financial education side of what to do with the money that she actually earned. Well, after 40 years of putting the money to work, cousin Bunty had about $3.2 million. Not bad for a guy making a good six-figure salary, but Paramjit now, after earning a 10% return on half of the money that she's investing here, has $3.6 million in her investment account. Even though she made half as much money as Cousin Bunty, she was investing half as much money as Cousin Bunty, but because she did a little bit better with her investments, she ended up with more wealth and more money than Cousin Bunty. This is where financial education becomes so important because when we go to school, we learn how to get this. You learn how to get a salary and that's it. See, in this situation, we're looking at it from a utopian point of view where both of them actually started investing their money when they started earning, but most people don't do that because most people don't understand what investing is or the importance of investing, and so most people don't do this. But because they started doing that, they ended up with decent amounts of money. But school only teaches us this part. When in reality, if you really want to become wealthy, there are three different aspects to this financial education. Number one is how much money you earn. Number two is what do you do with the money once you earn it? What type of returns can you get? Because a higher return can significantly change how much wealth you get. And this higher return is gonna depend on now what fees you're paying and how much returns you can get, meaning how your financial education is gonna impact your investments. And the third thing that will impact how much wealth you build is how long you invest your money for. In both of these instances, we assumed that they started investing as soon as they started earning money. And if you don't start investing your money sooner, you're gonna to have to start playing catch up because time is one of the most important factors when it comes to building wealth. So if you wanna build wealth, there's three things you have to understand. Time, the return that you get on your money, and how much money you invest. Now, how much money you invest is the only part that we learn in school, but there are many ways to earn money without your traditional job. You can go out and create an income from a side hustle, from a business. You can go out and get a certificate. There's a lot of different ways to earn money, the more money you earn, the more money you have to invest. But when the majority of people earn more money, they just go out and dig themselves into a deeper financial hole. This is where what I want you to do is number one, understand that if you wanna become wealthy, you can't spend all of your money. You gotta take some of the money and put it to your investments. Number two, you wanna start sooner rather than later because the more time that your money has to compound and grow, the wealthier you become. And then third, if you really wanna become wealthy, you have to understand how can you increase the returns on your money because the faster you can double your money, the faster you'll be able to build wealth. See, all this rate of return is telling you is how long it's gonna take for your money to grow and how fast your money is gonna grow. This is the velocity of money. The higher the rate of return, the higher the potential risk, but also the higher and faster that your money can grow. And so now if you want to double your money quicker, you got to understand how do you get a higher rate of return on your money. Now this might require you to take on more risk, which is why 
starting a business has a much higher rate of return. If you start a business, you can get a 20, 40, 50, even 200% return on the money that you invest, but you're gonna take on way more risk. And this is where now understanding how much risk you need to take to get the returns that you want is gonna be so important that we can actually hit the wealth that you want. If you enjoyed this short clip from my longer videos, here's another clip that I think you'll love and while you're at it, if you're interested in learning more about how to start generating passive income, our team put together an amazing guide on how to start generating passive income for free. All you gotta do is click that button right over there. Thank you for watching and as always, keep hustling.